Good start. He's not played the last two one day internationals, but doesn't look like he's been out of rhythm. Terrific delivery to start. What a start uh, from Adelson. Look at that seam position as well. Very upright and on the business area straight away. Straight away, Tamim Iqbal playing a bigger uh, drive which he loves to play. And again, another beauty. No movement of the feet towards the ball. I don't know why he's feeling for the ball with the bat. Well, it has been a problem for the top order batsman. Let's look at that once again. Got to know where your off stump is and then ease yourself into the shot. Trying to standing and uh, trying to stand and deliver from Tamim Iqbal. Bit of an inside edge, delayed appeal from Dale Stain. Alim Dar, the umpire, experienced. He's had a good series, Alim Dar. We saw him uh, bowl a two delivery, which left the left handed this time around. The ball coming back in. Once again, very good seam position. So. Beautifully bowled. The length was good, had the batsman thinking. Whether to get onto the front foot, he was rooted to the crease and good deviation of the pitch. We've seen that happen in Mirpur. It's the white ball, the new white ball, which does uh, a bit in the morning. First seven to eight overs will be uh, good for the bowlers. So it'll be important for the batsmen to make sure that they don't chase too many deliveries outside the off stump. The bowlers will be targeting that off stump line. Corridor of uncertainty for the batsmen. Another airy fairy shot. Big deviation away from the left hander. Two slips in position. Graham Smith might be encouraged to have the third man there. Third slip. Good pace as well, Shiva. There he indicates there is an extra bounce. 140. That's been uh, hitting uh, Morkel. And it's a bit of uh, gloomy conditions as they're slightly overcast. So there might be a little bit more for the bowlers. It's not that hot or humid at the moment. Once again, extra bounce because of the height he comes in. High arm action and get an extra bounce on that occasion. Looks good when you make contact. But the point remains, he was in a much better position. Much closer to ball to be able to make that contact and a good boundary. Beautiful shot uh, from uh, Sharia Nafiz. Gets the crowd on his feet. A huge cheer. Just take a look at that shot. It's good step forward and beautifully done. Showing the full face of the bat and uh, playing a picture perfect cover drive. Blasted this was the short delivery. Good work by Harris. Gets three. Initial movement was onto the front foot from Nafiz. He picked it up nicely. Was off the back foot, but still the weight transferring onto the front foot, and that's why he's hit it in front. Just take a look at that shot. He's pulled it outside the off and played it between mid wicket and mid on. Good work from uh, Paul Harris. He might have pissed outside the line of leg stump, and he, he's also a tall man. Money Morkel will get the extra bounce. He's struggling. Tamim Mekbal is a struggling for sure. You've seen him uh, try to play some big shots. He's played some defensive strokes as well, which uh, 
He's not played really well. Mohamed Ashraful uh, must be thinking at least in one positive that they haven't lost a wicket yet. It could happen any time if they keep doing this. 14 for no loss. It's edged. It's flown over the slip fielder and has raced away to the boundary. Sharia Nafiz again. Lucky. But what he did, uh, Sharia Nafiz, was uh, went at it with full force. Look at that. Way outside the off stump. Tried to hit it too hard and on top of the slips. That is an exquisite shot. He waited on it, just the room, played it late, and found the gap as well. Very good square drive there by uh, Igbal. That would make him feel better. He struggled so far this morning. So that first boundary will uh, give him some confidence. It wasn't a half volley, just the room. They're both very severe on anything outside the off stump. Both are good offside players they get most of the runs there it's played and missed a lot today Tamim Iqbal yet another one of those it's probably his lucky day good delivery this one moving away from the left and off the seam so it's been a much better start by uh, Bangladesh so far. Yeah. What kind of a shot is that? It is very effective. That will give you an idea of the mindset of this man, Shariar Nafiz. He's going after them now. Certainly is. Not much wrong with this delivery. That was a slog across the line but the contact was pretty good so it's been a good start for Nafiz he's raced to 23 there is something and the figure's gone up he is aghast Tommy McBall doesn't feel he nicked that, but there was a definite sound. All the fielders went up, but Bangladesh have lost their first. Batsman's not happy. So South Africa get the breakthrough. Albi Morko doing the damage. So nothing, little shot really, trying to run it down to third man. Not a good ploy against the, uh, the newer ball. So he's very unhappy, doesn't think that he hit it. Might be in a little bit of trouble for that. I would think the match referee wouldn't take kindly to him standing there for too long. But anyway, Iqbal is on his way. Bangladesh lose their first wicket, 34 for one. Bangladesh have lost their first. Nazimuddin comes in. So there's a bit of change in strategy. Ashraful was normally coming in at first drop, but now he's probably going to be at number four. That's very much high over the head. White ball signaled. Very short, very high. Yeah! I think they've got him. Yes, they have. Again, trying to run it down to third man. And we've been discussing that. That wasn't a shot with a lot of percentage attached to it. Failed again and has also given a wicket. Well, he basically tried it, played four times in a row and eventually succeeded only in nicking it. The first three he tried in the previous over didn't work, tries it again, it's too close to the body and the extra bounce. Trying to run it down to third man, it's not uh, good shot selection at all. He would have been a lot better off getting further across and playing it straight. So breakthrough for Mornay Morkel. He's uh, absolutely delighted. South Africa get their second wicket. Nafiz is gone for 25, 41 for two. So that start is coming a cropper 
two down now Bangladesh 41 on the board Mohammad Ashraful an average which he'd want to improve upon strike rate 72.8 I would have thought that would be more than that because when he scores his runs he scores them at a fair pelt he's off the mark he's got the outside edge and will get two Good first delivery. Fortunate there, Asha Fool, that that didn't go to slip. He has been complaining of the fact that luck hasn't been with him. It was certainly with him there. Good piece of fielding there by Albi Morkel, a third man. Made sure that he folded his legs and didn't stretch them out, otherwise he'd be over the rope. Albi Morkel. He went for that. That wasn't as short. He is compulsive with that shot. I think he got hit on the helmet or the visor there. That wasn't very short at all to be playing that shot. Well, in the previous game, he tried it before he scored and uh, only succeeded in hitting it down to find it straight. He hasn't ever go at this. He hasn't allowed himself at all to time to get used to the pace of the pitch. So this delivery was on to him a lot quicker than he thought. He was never in a good position to play that shot. It's been played in the air, but it's in the gap as well. This might win the race to the fence, as it does. So they've decided that the best form of defense is to attack. They're going for everything at the moment. It's a pretty good shot, this one. A better percentage shot. With a more leg side delivery, flick of the wrist, good timing. No real risk in that shot, so he played that well. Here he goes again. This time he's got it over the infield and it's going to roll across the rope for four. Nicely done. Well, that will bring a lot of relief to Mohamed Ashrafal. The first couple of balls he faced wasn't the best of shot. This one really got onto that very, very well. Up in the air, out, out. He's gone for another big heave. And again, skipper Mohamed Ashrafu, an indifferent shot, gets him out. Easy catch for Amla. Bangladesh, three down. Just can't understand his... Not too happy, understandably so, but he's been looking to get these shots over the top. And uh, that was on the cards, really. He's trying too many shots, trying to hit his way out of trouble, but really played into trouble the easiest of catches for Hashim Amla and the Bangladesh captain has to walk back to the pavilion he's gone and it's 61 for three new batsman in Sakib al Hassan played a, a good knock in the second one day international into his 40th match goodish average of 35.38 and needs to play a very responsible knock here. It's up in the air. There's someone down there, but he's not going to get there. Wide of Dale, staying at fine leg. One bounce and gone for four. To the delight of the crowd. They love boundaries. They do indeed, but there were two in the deep just for that kind of a shot. A deep fine leg and a deep backward square leg. Thankfully for him, he got enough on that. And the angle was right to take in between that fielder. And there was one just coming to the right of the screen. So they're setting it up for the Bangladeshis. It's up in the air. A long way up in the air. Graham Smith's under this. He's got it. He's got buckets for hands, he has. Doesn't drop too many. Another wicket goes. Looking to be adventurous once again. Four down. I just can't understand the mindset of these Bangladeshi batsmen. Last ball of, of the over. He just played uh, up a shot. And he takes a walk. Look at that. Walking across and then getting the toe end of the bat. That's terrible batting. And I'm going to take that, says the captain. 
big palms and wood. Straight into that. Another wicket. He's happy. And Bangladesh are deeper in trouble. Nazimuddin out for 20. And it's 72 for four. It's Rocky Bulasan in now. In his third match, played really well in the last game. Another one played in the air, but handsomely this time. Good use of the feet, a flat hit. That'll get him four. Uh, Rakib Ul Hassan uh, not afraid to use his feet. He got himself dismissed in similar fashion in the last ODI, but this time around, picking the spot, good use of the feet, very good follow through. That was close, but it's going to get him four. Opened the face of the bat, almost playing into the hands of Graham Smith at slip. It's the turn that undid uh, Sakib al Hassan and undid uh, Graham Smith at the end as well. Look at that coming around. Look at the big turn. Oh, very close indeed. On to the left side. But very lucky. Played all over it. But Bangladesh have lost their fifth, and it's not going to be a record partnership this time. Shakib Al Hassan, who was so good in the previous game, just played all over it. Didn't judge the length right. York himself. And that is a big one for Johan Boita. So Bangladesh have lost their fifth. Shakib has gone for 12, and it is now 97 for five. Not good news for Bangladesh. The five down 97, just the 23rd over. Still 27 overs to play. And the top order is back in the dressing room. Dhiman Ghosh, his third match. This is another opportunity for this young man. Oh, did he get his hand under it? They felt they were in with a shout even uh, if the wicketkeeper De Villiers had gotten that. Played onto the onside, he got a hand to it. Yes, it was still in the air for a while. But if that had stuck, that would have been bad luck. He'll have to hurry. That can be close. It's not a direct hit, but they feel they've got their man. That was excellent work in the field. Pressure. No boundaries. Not too many singles in the last over. And now all of a sudden, this is tight. This is very tight. I think he's gone. Maybe not. What happens here? Are the bales off? Oh, it's just a, it's just a frame. I think he's got to go here. The bale seems to be off. Well, he's given it. I think eventually the right decision. Very close to call, but it did appear that the bales were disturbed in that frame earlier but so close it's a pretty tight call third umpire took a lot of time there was a bit of hesitation in the middle that's the reason why he had to struggle at the end and the third umpire deciding in favor of the fielding side so Rokibal has to go back to the pavilion he'll be really disappointed six down for 101 Six down, very inopportune uh, that run out. Farhad Reza is the new man in. He's played a few matches. Oh. 
gone over the top. Mid on and mid off inside the ring. He's made good enough contact to get a boundary. Ends the over. 1 0 6 for 6. Ah! And he's bold. He missed the arm ball. He's kept a trifle low, and Harris is struck. Great delivery. Completely beaten by it. Ghosh has to go. Good bowling by Paul Harris. It's the quicker one. He came in with the arm as well. It didn't bounce. So, gosh, trying to play that square of the wicket. No contact made. This was a quicker delivery, as we said. Too full as well to go back to. So, hits the off stump. Harris picks up his first wicket. So, Bangladesh now. They're in uh, all sorts of trouble at 106 for seven. Disappointing story again. Bangladesh, 106 for seven. Seven down in the 28th over. Abdul Razak comes into bat. He's a handy batsman. Oh. Could be tight again. It's been referred to the third umpire. The last time it was referred to the third umpire, Ghosh was gone. And it was a very good decision that time around. What is this going to be? Dibali is unsure. He's a very good fielder. Alvira Peterson is quick. He's got a, a good arm. This is a good piece of fielding. He was quick to the ball and a quick release. Very risky single there. David Dibali has taken clean. He already dropped the ball. He would have been miles out if he held on to the ball. But let's have a look. He's got the ball in the hand when he breaks his thumbs, which he doesn't. So a long way out, but A.B. de Villiers drops the ball. So there's an opportunity missed. Maybe he was in a hurry to get rid of the bales. A lost control over the ball, and he's safe. This has been put away. Risk taken, but in the end it pays off. Razak will pick up a boundary. Good shot this time by Razak. It was a full delivery. Not easy to hit against the spin, but he got right to the pitch of the ball on this occasion. His timing was uh, pretty good as well. Big gap at uh, mid-wicket. Yeah, they had the mid on inside. They wanted to attempt to hit against the turn. And like you mentioned, it was taken on the half volley. There was an outside edge and taken. This is a good catch. Very good catch by De Villiers. Not the easiest. Against the turning ball with a little bit of extra bounce. And more so because the batsman, Razak, was looking to play the attacking shot. Maybe De Villiers made up for that uh, blunder in the previous over. This is a good catch. Big swing across the line. Outside edge. De Villiers makes no mistake. Guerta picks up another one. So South Africa in complete control. Now the wicket has fallen. Reza gone for nine. Bangladesh 118 for eight and it's going to be drinks. Mashrafi Murdasa is the new batsman. A strike rate of 91. He can play the big shots. Best of 51 not out. It's taken the aerial route. Medon was inside, the shot was on. There's always huge danger attached to it. The ball does turn. And this time, Murtaza makes good contact. Good start, good start. I'll tell you what, I didn't hear the sound. Neither did Alim Dar. The wicketkeeper went straight up, but uh, they'll stand the bowler. Just took a little bit of time to look back and appeal for it. Yeah, he followed the keeper, and I wouldn't be surprised if there was a little feather there. The reaction of Dale Stain or 
the non-reaction, as it were, of Dale Stain. Yeah, that looks like it's gone off the face, actually. Big shout and the finger goes up. Balbi Morkel gets his fourth. Bangladesh, nine down. The keeper, Ebi De Villiers, makes no mistake. Big edge, straight to his hands. Mashrafi Murtaza departs. Another wicket gone. So he's back in the pavilion for five. Bangladesh, 135 for nine. Newcomer, Musharraf Hussain. Early days, just the three one in nationals for him. Ah! Well, that's the end. Johan Boita has looked the more menacing, and he has actually netted three. What a terrific performance by Johan Boita. Not so by Bangladesh. They've been skittled out for 1 4 3 and in the 43rd over. What a wonderful delivery, Drew, drawing out the batsman. That was on the cards. He went for that little tentative push, got the edge, and A.B. de Villiers did the rest. 143 all out Bangladesh. And uh, that is only into the 43rd over. He's a very happy man, the South African coach, understandably knocking off Bangladesh for 143 in this third one day international of the Warid Cricket Series. Respectively. 144 the target then for the visitors. Herschel Gibbs, 36.67 and the average, the strike rate is phenomenal. He's played some very telling innings for his country. Just lost his place in the test side for the India tour. So he'd be wanting to bounce on any opportunity that comes his way. Graham Smith is in ex exceedingly good form. He's gone. He's used his feet and it's four. Didn't get elevation, but he connected superbly. Four to end the over. Seven without loss. Herschel Gibbs doesn't like to be bogged down using his feet there. Good strike uh, in the end. He's gone for it, and he's got enough on it to take it over the infield and into the fence. So they're going to attack as well. They like to play their shots against a new ball, Graham Smith and uh, Herschel Gibbs. Graham Smith using his feet on that occasion, trying to get inside the line and looking to hit that either over or through extra cover. And got perhaps a little bit too far outside leg stump, so game off uh, the outside edge, but... Uh, Found the gap, so uh, no harm done. In the air, and that's a soft dismissal. He'd be very disappointed with that effort, Herschel Gibbs. Wasn't that short, he wanted to force the issue. Maybe the ball just held up a trifle and ended up in the hands of extra cover. A tin dismissal. Gibbs looking to attack. He was too early on that shot. Ball just held up. Shot was on, but uh, didn't hit it well. The timing wasn't there. Straight to cover, comfortable catch. Joy there for Razak. The first wicket goes down. Bangladesh are going to need a few more wickets early on. Gibbs has gone for 10, 19 for 1. So the fall of Herschel Gibbs' wicket brings Alvira Peterson to the crease. Good opportunity for him. Hasn't batted on this uh, tour so far. He's only played the five games. Average as well at 50. Best was 80. Are we sure that was against Zimbabwe? He's a bit of a go getter. That strike rate was that correct? Alvira Peterson, early days in his career. But take a look at that for strike rate 111. That's been pulled away. 
There's no fielder there, so that might run into the fence. Good, well-controlled boundary by Peterson. He rolled his wrists over it, kept it down, didn't try and overhit it. He loves the hook of Vera Peterson. He played this one well. He was in control of the shot the whole way through. He was into position uh, very, very quickly as well. So that'll do him a world of good, his first boundary. Could be tight. It was a straight delivery. Long stride out from Peterson. Could have well saved it. Very, very tight call that. It's a very good shout indeed. Probably the stride too close to bat and pad as well. That's well bowled again. Peterson not too sure. Just closing the face of the bat at the last moment. 29 for one. This field has got a sense of purpose in it. That's beautifully struck. You've got to give credit to the batsman. It's gone to the boundary. That should make Peterson feel a lot better against the spinners. 15 overs gone, 40 for one. There you go, got to that and struck it really well. Gone for six. He's been looking for that shot right from the word go in this over. He missed out on a couple of occasions. He had to check his stroke. One almost slithered through, but that one was perfect shot. Onto the pitch of that, quickly, full flow of the bat, across the line, and look at that go. Long, long way. Brilliant shot. Nicely into position and bang. It's got the edge and it's beaten slip. It was a low catch, low and pretty difficult. Uh, didn't get anywhere near it. Very difficult to get to that, but that was what he was targeting. Getting to draw the batsman out, get an outside edge. He got an edge of the ball was low. Look at that. Right between the slip and the wicket keeper he made a good attempt at that oh, big shout it's out two down a quicker delivery from Moshara for saying that really zipped into Peterson he was not equal to the task and I suspect that the umpire didn't have too much of a problem in giving that decision. There you see it just heading maybe on the knee roll. He was not too much forward. He's not stretching forward. And there's the dreaded finger up from Nadesh Shah. First scalp for Moshkar Hussain. Alvira Peterson is out for 24. South Africa, 59 for two. A.B. De Villiers walks to the wicket. 67th one day international played well in game two saw his team home nicely played he's quick between wickets as well maybe de Villiers he suffered from a bit of cramp in the last game when he was batting, getting to 69 not out. Something that will have contributed to that will obviously be heat, but also the fact that he's had to keep wicket in these games and those squats going down and up for 50 overs. 48 as it turned out in the last game. Takes its toll on the legs. They've taken off the slip for De Villiers. Put him at fine leg. That's interesting. De Villiers has just come in. Instead of uh, exerting pressure on the new batsman, they've taken the closing fielders off. Well, he's, he's forced them to do it, actually, because of that shot that he's played. 
not quite to the pitch of it uh, manages to keep it on the ground though and ashraf has got to do the chasing ab de villiers once again through for three is really quick and you can see is brimming with confidence because of the last innings he played string line you can't bowl onto the pads of graham smith he'll make you pay gets a lot of runs on the leg side two shot and put away well you got a feel for Reza in this situation coming on in the 25th over it's not going to be easy for him he's used to bowling a lot earlier on when the ball is new and there's more bounce this delivery is short Graham Smith all the time in the world to put that away and he does and he does it well Two shot, De Villiers is too good a player to be missing out. 26 overs gone, 96 for two. It's another exciting young talent, very impressive De Villiers. He'll only get better and better as his career progresses. Superb boundary. 106 for two. Timed uh, square drive by Ebi de Villiers. He's very strong, square of the wicket on the offside. And he's played it so late. He finds the gap to perfection. Another over ends with the boundary. It's 111 for two. And also the 52 partnership. shot lots of time for a bit of Villiers to play that one his timing good again as we said he's very strong square of the wicket on that offside almost equal contributions from both in fact uh, de Villiers is the more dominant partner in this partnership 27 or just 23 A little bit of a shuffle towards the offside, and he's used the bottom hand to good effect. I just get the feeling De Villiers loves the last ball of the over. It's another boundary, 116 for two. Full toss that last delivery, so an easy put away. Maybe De Villiers now in good form, and he hit that uh, very well over mid wicket. Stunning shot. He's not only got a 50 here, which is 38, one day international 50. He's gone past 5,000 runs in one day internationals. Good shot to bring up his half century. Milestone for uh, Graham Smith. So it's Bangladesh remains to be a happy hunting ground for uh, the South African captain. Not the easiest shot playing against the turning ball a classical drive in front of square through the offside and so 5,000 runs in one internationals for Graham Smith we want to finish it off in a hurry now Fetching it from way outside the line of off stump. 121 for two. A.B. De Villiers, what a shot. Four more. Beautiful looking shot. Take that for a cover drive. Wow. Super shot. Oh, you could watch that over and over. 
as in the slot moves his feet well good straight bat and finds the gap for four and again this time off the back foot don't bother chasing that it's well timed four more two in a row this is gorgeous just an absolute gorgeous looking shot the first one was on the front foot this time off the back foot and what a shot treat to watch both the deliveries were not too bad it's got to be said it's just A.B. De Villiers has walked in and from the first ball looked so so confident and look at this it's a decent length but he's able to just smack it through cover then in the same area but then off the back foot the bowler trying to adjust his length and De Villiers equal to the task looked like he surprised himself there just a touch there's so much talked about the pitch how it's going to behave it's going to crumble is it is it going to crumble abrasive in nature very dusty but if you take a look, look at those shots he played it suggested that the pitch is still playing very well indeed that's probably the reason why he felt himself a bit surprised by playing the shots off the front foot and the next one off the back foot beautifully yeah it's got to be said that while the spinners were bowling though it did turn it wasn't easy to play shots was not easy to drive for Alvero Peterson and for Graham Smith they did some good work together in partnership in seeing those spinners off and just nudging it about didn't quite get a hold of that 130 for two He's got that. There's a man out there. He's not going to get it. He needs to be in the crowd to catch that. Another six. Second one. With that six, uh, you saw the crowd jumping up, enjoying the way uh, Graham Smith has batted. He's taken that away after the autumn, on down to his knees, and bang, gone. just six that's all that South Africa required to win this third and final one day international they have been clinical in all three ah! bold him just ducked back at the last moment and A.B. De Villiers, his defences were pierced. Three down. It's a good comeback uh, from uh, Farhad Reza. Bowling stump to stump, just ricocheting off the pad and on to the stumps. Good stuff from Farhad Reza. A bit too late though. Picks up his first wicket. A.B. De Villiers back in the pavilion for 40. 138 for three. South Africa 138 for three looking to get to 144 They're six runs shy and have lost their third wicket A.B. de Villiers has just gone and Jean-Paul Dumini comes to the wicket Shot, good shot, what a way to finish it. Down the wicket, bang over mid-on, emphatic 
and it's six runs to finish the game South Africa win by seven wickets they win this worried cricket series 3-0 and Graham Smith has led from the front he's had a really good tour here in Bangladesh handshakes all round congratulations all round here it is again nicely to the pitch and six be thank yous and congratulations there'll also be a little note taken South Africa have climbed to the top of the world rankings a shuffle a disappointing series uh, from Bangladesh's perspective you had a very good World Cup a lot was expected of you and uh, somehow your batting didn't live up did it yeah obviously South Africa played really good cricket with us uh, especially our batsmen are didn't score not any single match uh, that's why we have problem also in the morning all of us uh, expected that the wicket would sort of break up in the afternoon but the morning was more difficult than the afternoon was it uh, I think no wicket was uh, brilliant 100 over uh, but we didn't bat well the fastest 50 award for you US dollars 500 from Mr. Ikram Sehgal director Bank Alfala, 80 balls. A whole lot of awards for Graham Smith. Also, the most sixes hit in the innings. Also, US dollars 500, this time from Mr. Sajiddur Siraj, Vice Chairman, AB Bank Limited. So the most sixes, the fastest 50. He's also scored the highest number of runs in the series. Another US dollars 500 to be presented by Rizwan bin Farooq, Managing Director, Axiom Technologies Limited. 199 runs in the series. And he is the player of the series. US dollars 2000. He's got 199 runs in the series. They won at 3-0. Ikram Segal, Director, Bank Alphala, has handed over the $2,000, US $2,000 award. Player of the Series trophy to be handed over by General Moin U. Ahmed. And now, finally, a word with you. <laughs> so, uh, you've stamped your seal on this series somewhat, haven't you? All the awards, you've taken them away? Oh, well, yeah, like, I mean, I've been around for a fair bit now, what, 130 odd games, and Obviously, responsibility was the key for me with, with having a, a fair bit of young guys come into the squad. And, you know, with, with the form being good, it was obviously important to sort of carry that on. Uh, Gary, t Gary Kirsten taught me at a young age, you know, when the form's good, make it count, don't give it away. And hopefully we can carry that into India and, and make him pay for those comments. It would be nice. Eh? You've had a fair time in Pakistan, now Bangladesh. And you think that's good preparation for the big tour, three tests in India? Yeah, look, I mean, not many teams in a season will, can go to three subcontinents and win. And, uh, you know, we have that opportunity. Um, obviously, we have a lot of respect for the Indian team, and they've got a lot of experience and some unbelievable cricket ability. But um, as a team, you know, we're really focused on what we need to achieve, and we've got a couple of days at home now. I think we get four or five days at home before we arrive in India. So I'm really excited about the tour and really looking forward to it. Congratulations to South Africa then, who win the one-day series against Bangladesh 3-0 and look to be in good shape for their upcoming tour of India.